Hello, hello everybody. This is Monty with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I am going to make a quick arrangement to go out for a delivery. Now this is a $75 arrangement and it's a thinking of you or you're so special type of arrangement. We're just going to do bright colors. I am actually going to kind of match a balloon that he chose which had some yellows and some reds and some pinks and some oranges. Just bright pretty bold colors and a little bit of green and I'm going to show you how to make a hydrangea green. So we're going to start out with a glass vase. It's a square vase. It is filled with fresh water and a little bit of floral food. Now let me give you a quick tip. If you do not have like the powdered floral food, um, like the little packets or um, or any kind of flower food at home, let me tell you how to make some. You are going to take a little bit of Sprite, like a um, clear sugary soda that has a little bit of a lime or a lemon to it and you're going to add a couple of tablespoons of that into your water and then a couple of drops of bleach. Now what the flowers really want is they really want the sugar and so don't use a diet soda you're going to always want to use one that is full sugar and the thing about the lemon and lime that citrus helps the flowers um, drink that water quicker and then the bleach kills the bacteria. Now, if you do not have um, lemon lime soda at home, you can absolutely use a little bit of table sugar, just white table sugar. Add that to your water and let it dissolve, and then a little bit of bleach, and that's going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to start out using my floral knife, and I am going to um, grab my leather leaf. I'm going to pop off the bottom fronds. Um, and then cut my stem at an angle and tuck that in. Now the reason I'm pulling the greenery off the bottom is because I don't, if I stick it in, I don't want my um, fronds to be quite that large and I don't want the greenery to be in the water. Now the thing about your greenery being in the water is it helps um, promote the growth of bacteria in that water. So if you'll keep that greenery out of the water, that's just going to help them last longer. Now I'm just taking my knife, cutting that at an angle, and I am adding that greenery all the way throughout this arrangement. Now leather leaf is a store-bought foliage, right? It came, um, we ordered it, um, from Budsy, but you can always, when making an arrangement at home, you can always go out and cut foliage from your yard. And speak of that, this foliage is something that grows um, pretty easily in your yard. This is called variegated pittosporum. Now we didn't, or we did order this greenery. I don't have a um, pittosporum shrub in my yard, but it does grow here in Mississippi. Um, and I'm sure it grows in other places. It has a very woody stem, so I am going to use my snip, and I'm gonna cut that stem at an angle, and I'm just going to tuck that pittosporum right down into this arrangement. Now, pittosporum does come in this variegated, and it comes in a solid green that's just so pretty. Um, but anytime you're working with flowers, and say you pick some up, from your local grocery store. Very seldom do they have greenery in their, um, in their little packets. So go outside and cut you some foliage. Now how you're going to figure out if that foliage is going to last in a vase is just cut it and put it in some water. If it holds up, that means it's going to hold up in your flower arrangements. If it starts to wilt fairly quickly, that just means it won't hold in water. So just toss it. Next, what we're going to do, I did add a little bit of eucalyptus. I had a couple of stems left from another arrangement, so I tucked those in. Now I've got greenery all the way around in this vase. The next thing I'm gonna do is take some white hydrangeas. Now, here at our flower shop, we like to, um, we like to buy hydrangeas in white 
because they're very versatile. So that means I can tint these white hydrangeas any color that I would like. Um, we do have floral paint, and this happens to be Design Master Just for Flowers. It's actually a transparent flower dye. This is in a green, but it does come in pinks and blues and any color you would like to make it. So I'm going to take and remove the foliage from that stem and then I'm going to take my Just for Flowers flower tint and I am going to make this hydrangea a pretty lime green color. So it just, and I'll kind of show you, and it, it's not it's not like the paint you buy from the hardware store. It is a little more translucent, um, but it just kind of gives us a little bit more of a green color. Just a happy spring green. Now this is called fresh green is the color. Um, and you can purchase this from your local wholesaler usually, or um, we buy some of ours from a company called Burton & Burton, which has balloons and gifts and a lot of floral supplies too. So I'm just taking that paint and just tinting that hydrangea green. I'm cutting that stem at an angle and tucking him right down into that vase of water. Now you see me removing those leaves. That's just so when that flower goes to drink that water up that stem, that the water doesn't stop off at the leaves. It goes directly to the head. All right, so there's our green hydrangeas. Just happy, fresh green, bright green hydrangeas. Next, we're gonna come in with a little bit of lime flower. So I have such pretty flowers today. I'm gonna start out with a lime flower um, called Stock. So this is a fuchsia colored stock, just happy, happy color. I'm gonna take that stem and I am going to cut it at an angle and tuck my tallest stem in first. And then I'm gonna take a second stem, cut it a little shorter and kind of stair step it down. And then a third stem and go on the opposite side. Just like that. And then here's a fourth stem. I'm gonna to come toward the back. So there's my four stems of stock, fuchsia colored stock. Next I'm gonna come in with some white yin yang daisies. So this is just a fun variety of daisies. Daisies are in the chrysanthemum family. So I love these because they're white with the little dark centers. So they often, the flower that I think of when I think of white with a dark blue center is an anemone, but they're just so fun and pretty. Now the yin yang also comes in a pink, but I have never had the pink, I don't think. I think we've always had the white. So I'm just gonna take these, cut them at an angle, and I'm kind of using these as some height also because they've got really long stems and if there are any blooms that are broken just go ahead and pop those off and toss it in the trash all right so there's our little yin yang daisies tucked in next we're going to come in with a couple of focal flowers so we've got these beautiful bright yellow um, gerbera daisies now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of wire and I am going to cut it into thirds. I've got my wire snips and I'm just taking a piece of 21 gauge wire and cutting it into thirds. And then I am going to press it into the back of this Gerbera. So here's the disc that holds all the petals together. I'm gonna to press that wire right down into that and then just wrap it right around the stem. Now what that's going to do is that I'm going to be able to manipulate him just a little bit so that he will kind of do what I tell him to. Gerbera daisies really have a mind of their own and if you can see how he's kind of bending, this is just going to help him stand up a little straighter. Press that wire in and just wrap it 
around that stem. Now you need to be careful when playing with your Gerberas. Don't, when you manipulate their heads, be careful because it's a pretty crisp stem and it'll break. So he'll pop, his little head will pop off and then you'll be so aggravated. So I tucked him right in there. Again, I can just take that wire and manipulate him just a little bit so that he'll do what I say. Take that stem, cut it at an angle, and I'm going to tuck him right in too. So there's our two pretty Gerberas. All right, now to pull this same yellow, I brought some yellow Solidago. So I have some beautiful bright yellow Solidago. Now this is what we call a filler flower. So it's gonna kind of fill in some of the spaces that need just a pop of color. is our Solidago. So you can see how that kind of pulls that yellow all the way through. Next we're going to come in with some bright happy orange spray roses. So our balloon has all these colors so that's the reason I decided to pull the colors all the way through just so that it would be fun and it would kind of match. So I'm going to take my spray roses they have really nice long stems. I'm going to cut that stem at an angle. Remove any foliage that may fall below that water line. And then I am just going to tuck those happy little spray roses right in. Sometimes you have to readjust those flowers to get them exactly where you want them. So there we go. And then next we're going to come in with a little bit of wax flower. That's going to pull that same fuchsia color kind of all the way through. I like to use kind of mixed and matched filler um, just because it kind of makes it look a little bit of a wildflower look and it's just so pretty. So I'm just taking and breaking that wax flower into smaller pieces and tucking it through. I don't know why this one Gerbera is trying to give me fits. And to finish off this arrangement, I'm going to tie a bow in kind of some of the same fun colors. So I have some ribbon in this drawer here. And I think we're going to go with this bright lime green polka dot. This is just a fun thinking of you arrangement. So I'm going to take this lime green polka dot. This is some of the ribbon that we have here on our website, our Shopify website, and it's actually on sale um, right now. It's 20% off our um, website. So if anybody's interested, check that out. We've got our link down below. Um, so I'm going to take this polka dotted ribbon. It's a wired ribbon. Um, and I am going to, I took it and made a loop. I'm going to twist. And a loop. I'm not going to make a huge bow. I just wanted a fun little pop of color. So I'm going to do a total of five loops. Okay, so there's our loopy bow. I'm going to take my scissors, cut that ribbon, take a piece of wire, and I am going to cut it in half because I don't need it this long. I always find it, I feel like I'm wasting wire if I don't need it that long, because I just tend to cut it off and throw it away. So I cut my wire in half. I'm going to tie that bow. 
with that wire. And then to attach it to my arrangement, I'm just going to use one of those Solidago stems. Um, the stem I cut off that filler flower. I'm going to take that wire, wrap it right around that stem. Goodness gracious, my nose is all of a sudden itching. Of course, when you get on a video, it wants to itch for you. Y'all forgive me. All right, and there is our happy little arrangement. And again, it's for a thinking of you or you're so special. We have um, a balloon that we have attached to some cookies. So it's just going to be a fun thinking of you. Guys, thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions about how we do things here at Flowers by the Bunch, you can always ask. You can drop that in the messages here or you can send it over in an email. We'll be happy to answer any questions. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have not already um, subscribed to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you hit that little bell, it'll give you notifications for when we have a new video. Guys, thanks so much. See you soon.